What up guys, Swift here with a quick Thursday update with some Bears front office news, our first offensive coordinator interview, and are the Bears going back to London? The offseason is upon us in Chicago. While some fan bases focus on the playoffs that are going to kick off this weekend, the Chicago Bears are shifting gears into full offseason mode. Luke Getze and most of the offensive staff are gone and the Bears are working hard to upgrade that staff with new coordinators underneath Matt Eberflus. I have a couple of quick updates on the Bears' offensive coordinator search and assistant GM Ian Cunningham. Let's get right into it. Ian Cunningham is doing as well as I expected in his round of GM interviews. The Washington Commanders have already narrowed their GM search down to the final two candidates, and Ian Cunningham made the cut. The commander's choice is down to Cunningham and 49ers assistant GM Adam Peters, another very respected GM candidate who turned down job interviews last year. I heard some people saying the commander's job wasn't a very good one, but both Ian Cunningham and Adam Peters turned down interviews with the Cardinals and other teams last season, but they look poised to battle it out for this commander's job. It seems like a popular job around the league. Interestingly enough, the Chargers also asked to interview both of these candidates, so whoever doesn't end up in Washington could end up taking the Chargers job. Look out for that one. But it does appear more than likely that Ian Cunningham will be taking a GM job this year. I'd put the chances of him leaving at 80-20 right now, with a small chance he stays one more year to help with another historic offseason in Chicago. His departure will land us two third round picks though, something that cannot be overlooked. I do think Ian Cunningham's value to this team is worth more than those picks, but getting them when he leaves at least makes it less painful. Also, an update on our search to replace Luke Getze. I dropped a detailed video last night covering all of the hot names in the search for an offensive coordinator. One name I added late was the Seahawks offensive coordinator Shane Waldron. He was not expected to be available, but with Pete Carroll retiring from coaching and stepping into more of an advisory role, the Seahawks allowed the staff to look for other job opportunities. Ryan Poles was all over this one as the Bears became the first team to request an interview with Shane Waldron. The Seahawks offensive coordinator, who I believe is one of the most underrated play callers in the NFL, will be interviewing with the Bears. It's just an interview, but I love that Ryan Poles was all over this one, and Waldron is quickly moving up my list of candidates and becoming a favorite. He ran a similar system in Seattle that would be easy for our Bears players to learn because it uses similar verbiage and concepts. I think he would be a seamless fit, he's an experienced play caller, he's worked with mobile QBs, and he basically turned Geno Smith from a pure bust into an MVP candidate. I would love it if we landed Shane Waldron. And then the final bit of news this morning, the Bears will be headed back to London in 2024. The NFL announced the Bears will be playing a game in London this year. I know we have a huge fan base overseas, so I know this could be big news for some of you guys out there. Let me know how you guys are feeling in the comments. If you missed my offensive coordinator breakdown from last night, check that out. Remember to hit the like button for me. And until next time, Bear down.